Thanks for joining. We wanted to take this time to personally invite you to our community-based workout sponsored by Strong Dogs. On today's episode, we were workout training and muscle building our borbles. This is an activity that we thoroughly enjoy with our dogs because it builds the bond. The bond is very important for us and our borbles. Our borbles are treated as family. We really mean that when we say family, we have a certain work ethic. That's what attracted me to the borble. The athleticism, the physique, they have a lot of characteristics that I find in common with myself. So we have a workout regime where we come together and we offering this as a service to the public. People who are is free to come and join us. It's all about building a relationship with your dog, having fun, building a bond with your borble or bully or whatever breed it may be. Weight pulling is a great way for you to experience mental and physical stimulation with your borble or dog. Working out or any extracurricular activity all starts with the basic foundation of any relationship is discipline and basic obedience. This is important factor of family structure. This is an important aspect of the dog human family structure. Whatever you working out mental fem discipline and exercise is a great way to build a bond with your dog. Borbles being working dogs in particular excel in this activity. Period. Weight pulling cuts down on the amount of time that we have to spend in order to completely exhaust our dog. We can work our dogs out with the weight pull harness in a fraction of the amount of time that it takes to walk or run a bubble. We can work them out in a fraction of the time with the weight pull harness. This is also a great opportunity for filming and videotaping of your dog. Come out, enjoy, spend the day with us. Spend some time with your dog. Have some fun. This is a great family experience. You will learn a few things about working out and exercising. On this workout day, we started with some basic obedience. We did some turns. There's no nose to nose. We don't allow the dogs to play because this is not a play setting. This is a strictly work environment. So we want to condition the dogs that way. We're not here to focus on anything other than we're going to build the dog human relationship through the leash. So we don't allow any nose to nose for the basic obedience portion or any portion of the day. After we go from the basic obedience, we transfer into the weight pulling. The basic obedience is our foundation is very important because this is where we're gonna build our bond. This is where we're gonna build the focus. The focus is important because when your dog is focused on you, now you can lead and guide the dog as needed. You build the focus without any verbal commands, without any tugs on the leash. You're not gonna give any physical indicators. We focus by our behavior and our body language. This is how we're gonna build the dog's attention. We're gonna go to different distinct areas on our training field without any verbal cues, without any physical indicators, and our dogs are gonna be in leash, in tow, and they have to follow us. If they don't follow us, the collar tightens around their neck. And what that does is teaches the dog to say, wait, every time I'm not around my boss, or every time I'm not around my brother, or every time I'm not around my family, which is an extension of myself, every time I get a little bit too far away from myself, I feel this tightening around my neck it makes me uncomfortable i don't like it so what the dog does in turn it begins to focus on you the handler 
This is the foundation for any successful extracurricular activities with your dog. You use this focus as a guide. Now we are using praise as a driving force for this behavior. With working dogs, it's very essential to build the focus. They automatically are looking to please. They're very eager to please, and we're gonna use this excitement to please to get the dog to pull the weight. So we really wanna encourage the dog to stay close by us, because remember, we also just did this bonding activity where the leash tightens around the dog's neck when the dog doesn't stay focused on the handler. And we're gonna transfer that same close bond building experience over into this weight pool. And that we're going to learn to associate pulling as a positive experience for the dog. With this positivity and praise after the pull, the dog begins to love this activity. It's very rewarding and it's a great way to spend time during the winter months when the weather is implemented. This Paul's Companion Foods and Services will be there teaching animal first aid and CPR for emergency. Ensuring during and after your pup is healthy and happy. Work on understanding your companion through training and knowing what to look for. The rules are simple. One dog per person, no retractable leads, no dog to dog contact, be respectful and have fun. We hope to see you there. Thanks for joining. And remember, we'll be out every first Saturday and third Saturday. If you have any questions, reach out to us at 216-244-2088 by phone or on Instagram at int. Don't forget to subscribe. As always, hope to see you there. Peace.